Oh! Oh! I did it! Wait a minute. Why are my settings weird? Oh! I'm in love with myself! Oh! <laughs> one more! One more! Come on! Come on! I am officially <laughs> in love with myself! Oh my word! Oh my word! I, I'm a beautiful person! <laughs> that was amazing! Oh boy. Perfect. Oh, I told you guys I wanted to master shield bashing. And I was not joking around. <laughs> this is so great. I love I love that I can do that. Very good. What? What? Um, um, I'm sorry, but what is happening right now? What? what? <laughs> That's the best. Oh. Hmm. How do I get inside of Gerudo Town? I can't sneak in. Wait a minute. I got it. I wear pink clothes. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we uncovered a shady lady, or in other words, a guy, who was dressed as a woman, and he found that as the solution to getting inside of Gerudo Town, which is in the middle of the Gerudo Desert. And after buying some clothes from him, we too should have the ability to enter Gerudo Town. So let's let's go talk to this uh, guard and see if she'll let us in. Sub Saba. This is Gerudo Town, Hyrule's largest trade hub. Only Via permitted entry within the walls, so, and we're constantly on alert for anyone who looks suspicious. Sorry, Vi? Uh? Not Vi, Vi. Bite their bottom lip as you say it. It translates to woman in your language. As long as we're on the subject, vo is our word for man. If you plan to stay a while, you'd do well to learn the language. So, they're just gonna let in this this Hylian, who is half their height, so probably not a Gerudo female, and doesn't know what Vo and Vi is, despite having Gerudo clothes. Well, uh, I guess we'll profit from their mistake, and let's waltz right in with our, our Vi clothes. Forbidden city entry complete. Hello, Sav Saba. Even with the divine beast out there making a fuss, a little Vi like you just strolls into town. You've done well to make it to Gerudo Town. Mm. The chief keeps saying that everything is going to be okay, but thinking about the divine beast makes me so uneasy. The chief? Uh -huh. This town is led by our fantastic chief, Lady Ri Riju. She became chief after her mother, our old chief, passed away. Although young, L Lady Riju was our old our old chief's only child, so naturally the duties of leading the Gerudo fell to her. There have been other troubles on top of the Divine Beast acting violently. I hear it, it was the chief and her advisors pretty worried. The Divine Beast. Mm. You've crossed the Gerudo Desert to get here, right? So you must have seen the giant walking around outside. Mm. It appeared suddenly a few weeks ago. It's a daunting sight. If you get too closer to it, it will lash out at you with lightning. I can't imagine what would happen if it came to town. The chief says that thing used to be a god who protected this area around 100 years ago. But that story sounds too crazy to believe, don't you think? I need to sink on this. Uh, I think I've already asked about the chief, so thank you for the information. You should be, you should be careful not get too close to it. Yes, all of the Gerudo women are Russian. So, we've already, we're already a couple of minutes into the episode, and I've, I've already, uh, perfected the shield bash that is so cool I've, I've been being told about that since the very beginning of the adventure that you can that you can shield bash the the uh, guardian attacks but I've always been too much of a coward to try and so I just waltzed right into the the maze and got it done killed a bunch of guardians with that it's so cool hello sab saba great you got the last of my free time with that greeting what's the matter 
I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to make my items. If only I had ten, just ten. If some Vi would give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. Accessories? I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Every gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever who wears it. There's nothing I, I can do about not having any flint, though. I believe I have that much flint, but we'll see. I'm sorry that you came all the way to see me for nothing. You. I'm sorry, I, haven't, I don't have the flint. Uh, here's some flint. I happen to have it in my clothes. Where does he actually have that? Uh... What? You're just giving these to me? <laughs> Sarkso! But I can't take this all from you with just a Sarkso. We hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. Mm. The shop's been closed f so long, I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I could make a bejeweled accessory for you if you're interested in something. Mmm, oh boy. I don't know what all of these do. I assume if they're, like, status... Immunities, Ruby is fire, Sapphire is cold, and Topaz is heat, I guess? So I already have... I already have flame gear, I already have hot gear, I actually have two sets of hot gear. But I don't have... I only have one piece of cold gear, so this would be nice. Oh wait, heat resistance. Uh, wait, no. I, I think I have that reversed. Uh, I think then, in that case... The hot item would guard me against the cold. Yeah, that works. Rubies have the power to grant cold resistance. Would you like a ruby circlet? Yes, please. <laughs> T, I thought you might pick that one. Please give me a moment. Man, we're making friends already. Now, if would would those friends quickly <laughs> uh, beat us to a bloody pulp if we took off this this veil? Yes, they would. Yes, they would. Uh, just just saying, I'm not gonna take off this hood. Because my pink clothing has everyone convinced that I'm female, so I'll, I'll stick with it. Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Ruby circlet with cold resistance. A headpiece made by Gerudo craft workers. It's set with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more bearable. Ah. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell my other customers, okay? Is this your shop? Jewelry shop. Wait, what is that called? Starlight Memories? That's a nice name. That's a nice name. What's Isha? 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 Oh, man. Look at all this. Uh, once she gets in here, I should be able to shop. Come on. Keep behind the counter. Yeah. Okay. Amber earrings do what? Nothing? I mean, I'm. they're cheap. I might buy them. Opal earrings. Oh, oh, wait. So Amber do nothing, it seems, except give me armor, which is odd, uh, but I'll roll with it. Opal earrings give me swim speed up, not really needed. Shock resist, heat resist, cold resist, and a di- oh, a diamond circlet, which we already have. Well, that's neat. Do we need any of these, though? I don't think we do. I already have this super crispy, uh, Vaux armor that gives me shock resist when I have a full set. I mean, I could get this. Here, let's, let's just start with the amber earrings. Let's let's see. For all I know, they can actually just stack with what I'm wearing. That kind of makes sense. Okay, I got it. Increased defense when equipped. He sarks so. So can I equip these on top? No. No, in fact, uh, I just unequipped my headgear. Hopefully no one saw that. Please? Okay, I think I'm good. That, uh... You can keep my little seeker, right? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Isha. So what happens if I talk to her directly? Okay. I have enough flint now, so I can make... It, uh, so I can work every day. If you have any accessories, could you please pick them yourself? Well, nice. Okay. I, you see each... Yes, okay. She's she's explained mm. that. Well, neat. We have access to earrings. I'm not sure whether I'd ever want these, but they're available to me. Neat. Man, this is so cool. I mean... It feels very Ocarina of Time-esque, because in that game we weren't allowed in the Gerudo area anyway, so that's kind of been their shtick. But in this game, it's it's been expanded to a whole other level. If we take off our veil, also the frame rate is suffering immensely in this area. Just look at that. Ugh, it's gross. But it, it's just one of those things I noticed, uh, that 
for a, as much as the Gerudo culture seems to be based around Middle Eastern cultures, they kind of flip that completely on their head. In Ocarina of Time, you can see that their decor, uh, like in version 1.0, mirrors that of a lot of Middle Eastern cultures. And yet, it's, it's completely flipped on its head in that it's female-centric as opposed to being male-centric, which is present in most Middle Eastern societies. So it just, it's really interesting that they, they chose to make that statement. It, I mean, it really is a statement about the cultures. Hello, uh, awesome. sand sales 20 rupees, really. Vazak, Vaz that look, hmm, you must be a highly in the highly and Freli was talking about. My name is Kom, I'm Freli's mother. We run a shop where we rent out sand seals. If you plan on crossing the desert, you'll need a sand seal. It may seem unlikely, but we're actually a thriving business, and it's not it's so easy for a customer to get the hang of it. All you have to do is just stand on your shield and let the sand seal pull you along. Of course, our sand seals have been well trained. They're much easier to handle than a sand seal you'd find in the wild. If you're in need, just let me know. I think I might take her up on that later, if I ever have to chase down the Divine Beast. Okay, where are we going? Hello. Some statues showing a bit of their culture. It looks like their entire town is just one giant market. They have open-air living spaces. Uh, I guess because they're all women, that they don't expect people to just wa walk in and uh, do things like would happen in a real city, but... I can I can dig it. Open air open air living spaces. Cool. I wish this could happen in real life. Hello. I'll cure you. I'm sure I will. I'm guessing she has a quest later on. Okay, are there any shops we missed or can we go to the very center of this Oh, I was meaning to talk to you. You Ooh. Er Sabota? Was that it? I can't tell. Apparently you have to really bite your lip to get the V out clearly. A little kid made fun of me yesterday for not being able to get the pronunciation right. I don't know why, but it sounds the same to me no matter what I do. That's weird. They let male Gorons in. What is that about? Wait, are you... Do you have a name? I can't... Did you have a name? Mm. Yeah. Why do they let male Gorons in? That's not right. I feel cheated. Let's see, there are some shrooms... What's over here? The layout of this, looking at it now, reminds me greatly. What is that over there? I'm gonna have to check that weird bottle out later. But it reminds me greatly of of Hyrule Town from Ocarina of Time, with these little side streets. What's the password? O. G. And what comes next? T. And after that, uh, that would be um, A, actually. And what comes last? That would be Diamond. Go drink milk in the bar or something. Man. Well, we picked up a quest. We can get inside a Red's... Crazy Red's shop. Hey. Sav... What's a Vo doing here? Whoa, boy. Surprised? You might be You might be able to fool all the other Vaya around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat. The goddess statue, which, oh, is right there. Oh. oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one really even believes in that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with the Vo again. Will you humor me a little bit longer? Ever leave the town? Mm. No, oh, I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It, it was a rare thing for a Vo not to notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my head. I've, I'd heard of the Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. I traveled all across Hyrule, searching for this fabled place, but I could not find it. And before I knew, I'd grown old. The Vo no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with the Vo. I, I've kind of exhausted... This conversation, I'm sorry. Just live your life to the fullest, little Vo. She actually is pretty short. I'm not sure why she's calling me little. Hey, she stood up. Yeah, she's not that tall. She's like... It links like 5'5". Five five. She's like 6 foot. It's not bad. I believe I also have enough... No, I don't. I'm one, sh one short. That's sad. But now I know, if I can come back here, that there is a goddess statue. What else here? Sand seals 20 rupees? I've already spoken to you. I'm sorry. I spoke to you outside. 
And you... Savolta! Alright, I think I'm I'm gonna do my best at my part-time job. It's actually really tough taking care of the sand seals, but seeing how happy they are when food their food is put out. Although, I do sometimes put out too much food. I'm exhausted when the day is over. Well, you know what? Thanks for informing me. I didn't ask, but at least you're social. Where do I go to get out of here? This is a dead end. Okay, I think we've spoken to everyone. I think? They're, oh, well, wait a minute. Sledgehammer. And a scimitar. I'll take that. It's cool looking. Not the best, but also, I'm I'm here to, uh, I'm here to experience the sights. <gasps> oh, my word. It's a kid. It's a kittle. A foreign vice, a volta. I'm sorry, but I can't play with you right now, lady. What are you doing? I'm pretending to be Lady Urbosa. Lady Urbosa was an amazing person who was born a long, long time before I was. She was a champion who saved this town from an evil ghost. I'm going on pod trolls on every day to make sure no more bad monsters show up. Oh, it's a little, it's a little girl. It's so cool. We've never seen a, a Gerudo child before. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, now that I've seen a Gerudo child, let's let's walk up to the center of town, not waste any more time, and wait a minute. A Hylian. Hey, fellow Hylian. What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Ma'am, don't don't tell me you, you don't know who I am. Wait, <gasps> it's Tracy. Oh, I've heard of it. Phew, thanks goodness. If you told me that you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't know how I'd have taken that news. It'd have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Uh. Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more with conviction. Uh. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself, from Rumor Mill. That's amazing. I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading the Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. That's so cool. That's amazing. Why, why is she talking to you? Savota. There sure are a lot of Hylians coming today. This is the home of the Chief of the Gerudo. It's my duty to make sure that no one suspicious enters. Do not distract me from my job. <laughs> I am Gerudo. <laughs> You're short. Your hair is the wrong color. I can't even see your habs. It is absolutely ridiculous for you to claim that you're Gerudo. All evidence says otherwise. That's amazing. First that Vi Tracy and now you. Uh, can I go in? Huh? We're busy. It's an emergency. I'll authorize personnel only. That's why I would say if I had my way, but the chief is a kind person. She told me to allow visitors. If you want to go inside, be my guest. But if you say even one rude thing to the chief, you and my spear will have a very personal conversation. You know, I kind of actually want that to happen. Because I think we all know who would win. Alright, let's let's go inside and meet with the chief. Is that her on the right? Riju, Gerudo Chief. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, seems you have something rather interesting there. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold, hold on, Bel Beliara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? I'm Link. I'm wearing pink. I'm, I'm female. Link, and what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Burris. Uh? You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were the champions, like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. hmm. Buliara, a memory just jumped in my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more legend than fact. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Hmm. 
I don't ever, I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh? Wait a moment, you're a Vo! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're here to help us with Niburis, then we are allies. Huh? You saw it on your way to our town. Divine Beast uh, Va Naburis, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, holding li hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Hmm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find a way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naburis and calm its anger. Hmm. Lady Riju, I can't, be I can't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Hmm. Ah, yes. An interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Niburis. The thunder helm. A family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know where, about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arc. It will lead you to the barracks. Then, seek out Captain T Tieke? Teak? I, I think Teak sounds better. Captain Teak, and ask for a full report. Hmm. Without my heirloom, you'll, nev you'll never be able to approach Niburis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Well, that went better than expected. What? Wait a minute. Question. And I'm totally willing to reap the consequences of this. What happens if I, uh... Do this. Huh? Sound the alarm. I've always been detective. Capture him at once. But... But you already know. But you already know. Okay, I'm all about that. And going and getting the thing to help the thing. Ooh, that that's pro that probably feels really good. I kind of envy Link. That sounds like this looks like the best most refreshing thing ever. So yeah, I'm all I'm all for going and doing that. But there this is a palace. I have to explore the palace a little bit. Certainly there are a couple hidden treasures somewhere down here. There's a seal. What what are you about? Savolta. Are you a traveler? Sitting here is the chief's favorite sand seal, Patricia, but she is no ordinary sand seal. She's actually something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you'll receive some words of wisdom in return. Really? Okay, this this I have got to see. Hydromelons, let's offer her the food of the region. Volt fruits, volt fruit, and uh, let's just call that good. Here, I'll, I'll give it to you in the shade. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come enjoy it. Do it. Is that, is that good? You like the Hydra Melon? D seal the deal on your fortune by using more valuable fruit. Yeah, there was no avoiding that pun. Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. Are you the Oracle, or are you the Oracle? I can't really tell. What about this? She is really cute. She has that cute little bow. It's clear that she's a pet. Sand boots for desert sands and snow boots for serious snowfall. I've spared you the painful seal pun. Hmm. Sand boots, eh? Thank you for your wisdom. What about this one? Last one. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Eat it. Aw, look at her. Ooh. Sand seals can be knocked out by the sound of an explosion. I'm see serious. That was a close one. She tried to slip a seal pun in there. Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. And your puns. Thank you, Patricia. Goodbye. Ooh, and there's actually a little door down here. Which has in it... A stuffy doll of... Trisha, a spear, which is really bad, and that's it. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was cool. Okay, now let's go to the arc, arch, archway, arcway. I don't know, and end the episode here. Well, talk to them and then end the episode.
Hello! Are you who I want? I think you're who I want. Hello! Oh yeah, Captain Teak. What are you doing here? This is the barracks for the chief guards. The chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. You know, I'm wearing pink, so that makes me female. What? Bulliaro sent you? Whoa. My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. Mm. We're determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Okay, let's, you know, we can ask a couple questions before I, I end this off. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen Bartha. Where has she gone off to? Oh. She said she was going to scout the thieves' hideout, but she left before we could say anything. Now that I think about it, she's been gone for two days. I wonder what happened to her. No. You, are you serious? Then why did you go by, let her go by herself? And why did you wait two days to report this? Oh. I, I apologize. She said she was, she just wanted to check it out and she would be careful. So I thought, uh, mm. if we aren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom, now we have to find Barta too. Oh. If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably 100 laps around Gerudo Desert. Again. Oh. oh no, what should we do? Hm. Thinking about it. What about you? Oh. Bartha hasn't returned in many days. Could she have been captured by those thieves? No, the sandstorms out near the Carusa Valley have been bad. I'm certain she got lost or stranded. I'm worried for her. Oh. We have to go out with a sand seal to search again, but... Oh, it makes me feel so sick to surf around with one. And you also don't have a shield. So how are you surfing? That seems problematic. Hello. Can I... Yeah! Wait a minute. Wait, wait, not you. You. No, not you. You. Savota. I finally found the vol of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness. But then, my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. Oh, you're who we saw sleeping the other uh, earlier this episode. The only thing that could save him is the innards of a Molduga. But I'd never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they had serious issues to deal with. They said they had no time for my plight. They turned me away. Mm. But then, who, why wouldn't they? The Molduga is a menacing beast. None who face one and may escape unscathed. So ha perhaps it is foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. Mm. I finally thought I had gotten, gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. What is a Molduga? <gasps> The Molduga is a monster, a terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here, in the Tor Toruma ruins, and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations, and tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even move near it, and you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Hmm. I think that's that sounds like a challenge for the pink Gerudo woman to take care of. Uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ooh. Wait a minute. No, not quite yet. I, I, this looks like a school. Oh my. So Volta. Oh, are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. Why don't you join us? Oh, goodness. Can I? Oh, I can't. I can't. I want to join you. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> There's, that's the best diagram in the world. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. What, what do you have to say? I wasn't sleeping. I was just thinking. Wait, what? I thought you were the teacher. Don't scare me like that. Savak. What do you think of my lipstick? I think it'll bring me good luck. You know that the color is especially important in bringing good luck, right? The color? How? Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm planning on learning that next. <laughs> what about you? Savak. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm only taking Mrs. Ashai's class as a kind of refresher course, but I still have to study. Okay. Well, have fun. If you ever want to talk with a real, uh, a real Vo, I'm your man. Literally, I am a, a man, and I'm the only man here, so talk to me. Alright, that is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, 
Then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And next time, join us when we go after... That was weird. We go after uh, the... The Divine Beast or the Helm, I guess. The Thunder Helm. What are you doing? You're just chowing down on... On watermelons? What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. Okay. Enjoy your hydromelon, I guess? Alright. See you guys next time. I'm gonna explore this in the end slate because it's such a beautiful town. Uh, <laughs> You know, have you ever watched Dragon Ball Super? <laughs> that felt so good. That was straight up something that happened in Dragon Ball Super. I love it. Time skip. Time skipping is the best. Okay, there's no one in here. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's back here?